Welcome to our prime debate. Don't work after 8, Gurgaon tells women that was the headline a day after a girl working at a pub was allegedly gang raped. But read the fine print. The administrations actually placed an obligation on the employers to arrange for drop home facility if women staff work beyond 8 p.m. That still poses a very basic question. Why should a woman feel unsafe in the first place? Does a woman have to be guarded in her own city or when she steps out of her own office? What kind of a law and order is this? So now it is the office which has to make sure women employees are safe out on the road. Well, the workplace wouldn't really mind taking care of its female staff. But the issue here is different. What is the law and order machinery of the government doing? They seem to have conceded utter failure in protecting the women of the country. And what's with the 8 p.m. deadline for women to work in office? The logic here is, since criminals and perverts cannot be checked, it's better to keep women indoors, right? Why let them out in the morning and afternoon then? There are many sick minds out there who wouldn't wait for sundown to strike. That being the case, why should women work at all? They're safer home, relatively speaking. Yes, the workplace can take care of women employees, but it does feel bad to have wimps for law enforcers. And to discuss this issue, we have in our studios Chitleen Sethi, journalist with the Indian Express, Dr. Shruti Bedi, Institute of Legal Studies, Punjab University, Jagdeep Benz, Punjab and Haryana High Court lawyer, and uh, Mr. R.S. Kuman is the SP Operations of Chandigarh. Well, thank you all for being with us. Chitleen, if I begin with you. Of course, you know, you look at what the Gurgaon administration did. It has two aspects. The negative one, we can carry on and on about it. But looking at it from the positive outlook. You, we have them saying that employers also have to share the responsibility of women working with them. Is that fair enough? Uh, only to a small extent because ultimately the law and order is the responsibility of the police and uh, uh, the police in Haryana is, uh, uh, has been shirking its responsibility for many years now and this is just another example of that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's absolutely, uh, uh, to, some, to some extent yes, that you know an employer uh, uh, should give a safe en environment to the, to the women working while they are in the office. Mm. But once they are outside the office, it's, it's squarely the responsibility of the police. Right. You know, like for example, if a woman is working, maybe pointing more at the BPOs where women are working late hours, so you have to have the pick and drop facilities and ensure that they all are safe. I mean, that's what the whole order read. You know, that ensure that they have their identity cards, they're constantly checked, the drivers who are taking them home. And mm -hmm. these are just modalities of the, of, of the, of the safety process. Mm -hmm. what, what exactly is missing here is, uh, is that the uh, Haryana police per se and Gurgaon, Gurgaon police uh, specifically mm -hmm. has, uh, has absolutely failed to give an environment in which uh, women feel safe. Mm -hmm. So I think that is where the big lacuna is. Yeah, the lacuna definitely is that you are not providing them safety. And another lacuna to the whole thing, of course, other than saying that women need protection and we, this is what the, you know, the shift responsibility to various offices, they are also trying to say that women need to look after themselves as well. So the absurdity of it all is after 8 o'clock, if you are alone, you are on your own. <laughs> No, yes, I, it's, uh, it's, it's silly, downrightly silly because uh, Bombay, for example, has been uh, a city where women work till almost till, till 1, yes. 1, 1 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. I have uh, myself seen women traveling in trains and uh, uh, being out, in, uh, out on the roads mm -hmm. and it's perfectly uh, safe. The Bombay police has managed uh, to, to create that. that kind of a trust, trust. Uh, among the people. Yeah. While Haryana, it's not, this is not the first example in any case. I mean, you have, uh, you have examples of uh, two women being beaten up uh, huh. uh, by, by in a village while the entire Haryana police was there and uh, just uh, kept watching. So this is just another one of the small examples because it's happened in the city. So it's, it's you know, got that kind of, uh, uh, you know. Sh right. Shruti, of course, you know, that is one. We can look at it and we find all of us were outraged when we read something like that. After 8 o'clock, you can't keep them, uh, you can't step out alone. You need protection. Is it particularly just Haryana or would you say anywhere? No, it's a very strange thing because uh, you say that you can provide protection to women till 8 o'clock and uh, thereafter that you cannot provide uh, protection, it sounds very strange. Hmm. Moreover, there's another point to it that uh, we've seen in the past, the Gurgaon has had incidents where men have uh, entered into brawls and fights hmm. very frequently. Hmm. Hmm. They, the police or the administration hasn't come out with something that we cannot protect the men or they should stay indoors. Why is it only with women? And it's a very, it's, it's, it's that the, abdi the abdication yes. of the responsibility of the government. Mm -hmm. If the government is, uh, 
you know, stern enough. Mm. And if it wants to, it will mm. ensure the safety of every citizen in that state. So mm. it's not... Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Guman is uh, nodding in agreement. But uh, before I, I come would to... I would like to yeah. add to what my friend has just said here. Well, she's very right when they say women can't work after... She mm. has said women cannot work after 8 o'clock. But that means even women should not go out shopping. They should not go out for any dinner. Families should not venture out. That means everybody should stay indoors after 8 p.m. That means the roads are unsafe. Mm. So instead of looking at a solution to that, that, just a ban has been imposed upon the working conditions of women. And this issue had come up before the Honorable Division Bench of the Bombay High Court, headed by Honorable Mrs. Justice Ranjana Desai, when it has clearly been held last year that an open mind has to be given to it, that is it a sin for a woman to work at night. In fact, it violates her constitutional right. Mm. This is what has been held by the Honorable Division. I, I think uh, so much uh, thought probably wasn't given to it. Uh, mm. They were not saying that don't work, but they were saying it requires safety measures. Don't venture out. out. That was their don't do it alone. Don't go out alone is what they're so trying to say. So is there somebody who, yes. is, who is also going to get into the whole act and get beaten up in the process? Finally, Mr. Guman, <laughs> your response first. Do you yeah. think it's just first of all, okay. I, First of all, as a human being, as a man, I pay my sincere and deepest uh, we can say regards to the women of my country who are like my mother, sister, my daughters. And I mean it that first of all we have to develop this psychology as in Gurwani hai dekh chirai pahinye chandiya mama tiya pehna jane. First we have to create an environment where we see our sisters or women as human beings, mm -hmm. as somebody demanding respect have somebody demanding space. That ca can not only be done by the police, but for, I am talking mm -hmm. just on the first okay. part. That is the duty of media also, that is duty of our institutions also, that is the duty of uh, our relation teachers also, that is the duty of our religious teachers also, that we have to give mm -hmm. respect to the woman, what she requires. Second thing is prevention and detection. I fully agree this is the duty of the police to prevent and detect. First to create an atmosphere that nobody can dare to outrage the modesty of a woman, mm. be it 8 p.m., be it 9 p.m., be it 10 p.m. Second, if something has happened, then it is their duty to work out, so mm. that it has a deterrent effect. But I would like to say about this order, mm -hmm. I would like to, we have to be little broad minded. Yeah. I think this order is just like a precaution. Mm -hmm. Something has happened, yeah. despite all whatever the system yes. is in place. The DM has said we after eight if the woman is going from mm -hmm. place to be dropped at her, she has to be taken proper care. I remember a case uh, some rape uh, had taken place like this had taken place while I was in Delhi. Then also this GPS system was introduced. Then also it was made mandatory that the uh, last dropped woman will not be alone. Another male person will be accompanying the driver. Mm. And then there have to, has to be mobile. I think we should take it as a precautionary measure. Not as a deterrent that women don't have to work after it. Mm -hmm. So I, if we take it the totality, I think this is just a precaution which can save such incidents. But you know, we're talking about good cow. Yeah. You know, and we, that incident in Shreveport happened many, many years ago. Yeah. We're talking about so many years yeah. down the line. Do you think, uh, 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 how safe would you first say is Chandigarh to good cow? I personally feel Chandigarh is very safe. I always uh, boast of one thing where that we can boast of safety when our women, be a daughter, sister, wife, if they go, can go at the dead of night on their scooter, on their car to buy something for an out and come back safely. That is a standard parameter. Mm. But why this is being uh, happening in uh, Gurgaon only, I think the, the reasons must known be uh, must be known to their police, their sociologists. What, would you why, say? No, why, what about the, why this particular? Why particularly is? Haryana? I mean, uh, Gurgaon, of course, oh, is Haryana this. In the past uh, five years, has shown a shown an uh, absolute a doubling of crime. In the past five years, Haryana police has uh, is one of the most incompetent police right now in the country. Mm -hmm. So it is it is in fact. Would you say it's bad policing, sir? Like when you turn around, when when people like us would say, oh, it's just bad policing. Definitely, I won't like to comment on, on my counterpart, but I must say that it is the basic duty of any police anywhere to inculcate a sense of security among children, among humans, among women as regarding their person, property is concerned. 
you know mm -hmm. what mr goman is saying is one aspect of the whole thing that uh, the police should be able to create an environment yeah, where you yeah, feel safe. safe but at the same time from the criminal's point of view the criminal has absolute no fear of the police Precise. so that is th there is no deterrent in that sense so haryana police has completely failed not just to provide security to women but also at the same time not not have any kind of i mean there is no there is no fear Mm. I mean, somebody who's who's there's a gang rape happening. Those people are obviously not scared, mm. which means there is no night dominance. There is lawlessness there is because they know there is no security. There is they are taking a chance perpetrating a crime mm. because you of know, this so very reason. So many times the and we'll get to a, criminals are in cover. We had the police. Two days ago, we had that incident. Just a second. Two days ago, we had an incident where uh, uh, where right uh, when the under trials were being taken from 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 a court to a uh, to a jail. I mean, the criminals attacked them, and those three mm. people were killed. Mm. I mean, this can this can only happen in Haryana. In Haryana, they had a kidnapping of an under trial, but they even even uh, kidnapped the police officer. I mean, this this is something which is so odd. I mean, Haryana police somewhere some somewhere there has to be something lacking. Absolutely, and and there is no there is there seems to be no accountability. If this is the solution they have, that okay, you know, we we'll, we'll issue an advisory. Yeah. Okay, that's what he's saying. You know, it's just a mere advisory. It's not a rule uh, that you don't have to go out. Here, I would like to yes, yes, please, 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 please. <laughs> yeah. You must remember that Dhola Kumar rape case. It was one of the finely investigated cases by Delhi Police. They checked all the vehicles and the people from region adjoining Gurgaon were traced, and yeah. they were arrested. Question is, what I told you, I, I don't say it is an advice. It is just a precaution. But I'm but telling you, what we need to do: one, sense of Uh, becomes a fear of law in the minds of mm. the law violators. Mm. That is the duty of police, mm. judiciary, and legislature to create such laws which create a deterrent effect. Number one, investigation is the sole responsibility of the police. When something has happened, I think you you can be proud of wearing your uniform only when you work out these cases. Mm. That should be the standard. The law is already there. Then why isn't that fear? In the minds of these people, and why is it all arise? You are saying that incident took place and it was finally investigated, but why did it take place? Yeah. Because the there was no protection was provided by the administration. This is precisely the point. Even now, and uh, here we are talking about an urban woman who is who is working in an working in Gurgaon. I mean, how many women of Haryana actually yeah. feel safe even in the police station? I mean, we have to work these things out. But Haryana, you know, there is more of a sense that we have to save ourselves, even from the police, sometimes. Yes. Then uh, actually feel so safe. So let's not just there. say Haryana police. Uh, police is it? Is it also anywhere else? Maybe I mean, it's worse, worse in that state. Maybe worse to other, other states. states. So that is the sense of fear. Uh, I would like to say one thing. I'll say my <laughs> young sisters are sitting here. I don't know to comment about their personal experience, but I personally feel, feel when we recruit the uh, officers, when we train them, gender sensitivity is one of the subject where we give extreme importance to respect the woman. And whenever any uh, thing comes to our notice that somebody has misbehaved or has not given due respect to a woman to a girl, we take stern action. There are two things: one is to ch ch change the mindset mm -hmm. that you have to respect. Women and girl. Of course, nobody. No. So everybody is not very convinced. I'm going to take a very short break. Mr. Ghuman is, of course, siding his police force. The women are up against the administration as a whole. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back.